Hey there everybody, this is Potter Boney, and welcome to another Bind Reaction of Sword Art Online Abridged Episode Number 14 from Something Witty Entertainment. Uh, okay, now before I get into the video, let me just talk about something real quick. I just want to say a quick congratulations to my cousin Martina and her new husband Dave. Uh, by the time we're watching this, I will have already been to the wedding, you know, they'll have already been married. Um, so yeah, to the both of you, best of luck. And all the happiness in the world. Uh, truly. And also, recently, congratulations to my little sister on her engagement, Olivia and Mike. Uh, best of luck to you as well in the future. And uh, looking forward to that wedding as well. So, now I got that off my chest. Uh, just something I wanted to say real quick. Let's get right into the funny business. Uh, Sword Art Online, episode number 14. Sword Art Online, abridged, episode number 14. Um, as always, the link to the original video is in the description below. Maybe not the original video, but the YouTube version of the video. Uh, assuming it's still up. I mean, if it's not on YouTube, then I'm not going to post this. I'm going to post this until it has it, but it should be officially up there on their channel. That's where I got this video, anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's just get it started and see what they've got in store for us this time. Been a while since the last one, and looking forward to seeing what uh, Kirito and and crew are up to. Yeah. In three, two, one. And go. The following is a fan based parody. Sword Art Online is owned by A1 Pictures, Aniplex USA, and Reki Kawahara. Please support mm -hmm. the official release. Will do. <laughs> no! Oh, it must be one of those guys. <laughs> Wow, you're not even gonna wait now, are you? <laughs> not at all. <sighs> now that I've shaken the rust off, why don't you come on down here and show me some of that southern hospitality, Colonel? Come on down? Boy, you got a working set of wings now, don't you? Why don't you mosey your inferior little behind up here, and we'll settle this like fairies. Um, no, I'm, I'm good. I don't want to waste my time flying up there and then coming back down to, to your grave. Oh, my dear Muffin, can you not fly? <laughs> I know you Spriggans were a garbage race, but I had no idea you were impotent. <laughs> and there's more where that came from, Sanders. Next one won't be a warning shot. But I'm a gracious man. What do you prefer, wing or thigh? No, I think not, Spriggan. I don't know what sort of arrangement you degenerates have made with the Sylphs, but know this. No the arrangement. Salamanders cannot be stopped. And we shall not rest until we have that booty. Wait, would Pudgy Smasher say booty? No, no, of course he wouldn't. Y you guys have thrown me off my whole rhythm! You're just impossible to play off of! You know what? Enjoy the ground! Later, casuals! <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on him. I only had the one sword. Which I now have to go find. Shoot. Mm. Shoot. Why the fudge did I say shoot? Fudge! Oh my <laughs> god, fish! What's wrong with me? Auto-censoring, huh? Placed upon this island which halts the forbidden tongue? Cheese and crackers, you're still role playing? Please, lady, I am begging you. Just talk to me like a person for two seconds. Dude, it's a kid's game. There's a profanity filter. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really sucks here, doesn't it?
All right. <laughs> I hate this. This place is dumb. I can't even curse. What kind of nightmare is this? <laughs> Do not cry, Lucas Brigham. You mustn't show weakness before the enemy. What does everyone keep calling me Murphy? Those brigands you killed still linger for a time. They are a crafty bunch, plotting and scheming their schemes and plots. Hey, so what was all that stuff about a, a, a prophecy? Oh, it's just some secret backstory stuff I came up with. You were supposed to be some, like, chosen one who'd lead the salamanders to glory. But then, once you rose to power, you'd urge us to abandon our violent ways and embrace a culture of love and art and veganism. Oh, wow, uh, that, uh, sounds like a But then, it'd turn out that I'm super not about that life. So in the dead of night, I'd sneak into your kingly abode, and you'd wake up just in time to see me drive the knife into your chest, and you'd have this, this, this um. of heartbreak and betrayal on your face. And I'm crying, because I'm killing my best friend, but I know it has to be done for the good of the salamander. And I think you kind of get that right at the end, because just before you pass on, we make this beautiful eye contact. There's no judgment there. You know I'll already be judging myself enough. You don't want to add to that burden. So no, I would totally add to it if it was me. God. And as the light leaves your eyes, you die in my arms. And I realize all too late that you truly were the leader we needed all along. And scene. Listen, Dylan. My mom says my pizza bagels are ready. I don't think we should see each other again. <laughs> that, that's, that's a good choice, man. Trevor. All right, we can speak now. Now, what do you want? Wow, is this how you treat everyone who saves you? I can just... Feel the gratitude radiating off of you, like a warm summer breeze wafting across the meadow. The Bambi's mom was shot in. You want change? You people always begging for change. No, no, I'm good. Really, just kind of curious about. Ah, ah, why? Why? Fine, just take it and go. <laughs> lady, I just want to ask you about the. Forget her, Daddy. Ah. We do not have time to deal with this obstinate hussy. If you get in our way, I will. You eat no the time. Who is this now? Duh, this is Huey. She's my dumb pet. <laughs> the <laughs> drop. Hmm. You claim to be new to this game, yet your stats are so high you were able to kill two high level players in as many attacks and have a super rare pet item to boot. None of this adds up. You didn't like that. What's your game, Spriggan? Well, it's sort of online, but I can't play that anymore. I guess. <laughs> oh, how delightfully droll! Oh, you're an amusing one, stranger. My name is Princess Leafa, heir to the throne of Sylvain. Please, to make my acquaintance. Don't you mean your? I know what I. No, said. she said. Yep. Bow. Yeah, she said what she meant. Be a hard pass. Yui, you ready to get the show on the road? I don't think we're getting anything useful out of Barbie Warrior Princess. Yes, finally. <sighs> wait, wait. Sorry. Please don't go. I will end you, Doc. Sorry. <laughs> Drop it for a while. People around here get kind of intense about it, you know, so I just, I try to stay in character as much as I can. Thanks for the assist with those guys back there, by the way. I think you said you had some questions? Yeah, you could say that. I was hoping you could explain a few things about this game, especially the tree. Oh, you mean... Yeah. The math tree. Exactly. Wait, the what? Gather round, children. No, not that tree. Might against my Please, not that tree. Not math. The mind and Though I do have a calculator. At all times. Okay, I do definitely have some questions about that, but I kind of meant, you know, that one. 
Oh, you mean the world tree. Sure, I could tell you all about it. Why don't we go somewhere a little more comfortable, though? This place is crawling with salamanders, and they've been gunning for me a lot lately for some reason. Come on, I know a killer bar over in Sylvain. Bar? I thought this was a kid's game. Yeah, a cool kid's game. Now let's go. <laughs> What's the cool math games? What's the rush? Why don't we just take a nice moonlit stroll through the forest full of sexual predators and weird trees? Your time grows short, children. <laughs> Give me thy answer now, or be forever cursed to Oh my gosh, four! What? Impossible! No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not fooling anybody, champ. Turn around, pop your wings. Okay, so there's this little trick that I like to use. Oh, yeah? Well, what's that? Think happy thoughts! Oh. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, dude! Are you okay? This is amazing! Wow, you're doing great! It took me six months to get that good! That's fine. Not jealous at all. Now I know it's your first time, so I'll be gentle. Oh, don't worry about me. My wife punches me during sex. All right. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. You can outdo me. No one flies But it surprised me. What's the matter, princess? Tired already? Oh, I mean, eat my box. It's interesting that Yui is keeping up. Land? What do you mean, land? You never told me how to land. Oh, what? You just You're fall. So confident. I thought you knew everything about flying with your five minutes of experience. We fall, please. It's getting closer. Don't worry. It's real easy. All you've got to do is. We fall. What was that? I didn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin' learned his place. Uh, no, but I have developed a very sudden yet powerful distrust of the monarchy. Oh, you peasants are always saying that. Let me fix you right up. See spot, see spot, run, run, spot, run. <laughs> That's the healing spell. Interesting incantation. Can a Spriggan learn that kind of thing? Oh, you can try, but your kind are far more adept at lying and stealing. Excuse me? Yeah, illusion magic and treasure hunting. That is not what you said. Hey, princess! <laughs> oh, butterscotch. It's one of my friends. <sighs> Don't judge me, but I'm about to go deep. Well, hello there, my dear Reckon. What brings you before my royal countenance this fine evening? Oh, not much. How's it hanging, Leafa? Gosh darn it, Reckon! You're making me look bad in front of the Spriggan! Oh, oh gosh. I'm sorry, Princess. I didn't mean to. Oh, Frack! A Spriggan! Uh, well, that's what she just said. Coming into our territory. Uh, do you want me to kill it, Princess? No, no, not this time, Reckon. He's one of the good ones. Gee, thanks. Yeah, that doesn't sound racist at all. Well, any friend of the Princess is a friend of mine. My name's Reckon. Leafa! Leafa, what's happening? Oh, gosh, she's crushing my hand! Uh, yeah, that's just his nerve gear. He bought a faulty one off the parents of one of those dead SAO kids. Every now and then... Oh, it crap! How do you describe it? Pulses Fries the fear center of his brain? Ah, the tentacle monster! It's teaching our classroom! Ah! Apparently he got it pretty cheap, though. What with it having melted their son and all. <laughs> oh, yeah, he clearly took that for a ride. Oh, golly, I can feel my phone. You're okay, Reckon. You're back now. That's a horrifying backstory. Congrats. Holy cow, are you okay? Why would you keep using that thing? Oh, oh it's not that bad. Sure, being randomly <laughs> ambushed by my deepest fears isn't ideal, but you can't take the good with the bad, you know? I got this thing for $600, and all I had to do was clean the brains out of it. Um, dude, <laughs> those things were $500 new. 
I, I mean, they were sleeping. <laughs> they, they probably weren't thinking about the math too much. You are too precious for this world. Anyway, uh, Princess, <laughs> are you heading to your engagement party soon? I know it's supposed to be fashionable to be a little late, but everybody's looking for you, and the band's been playing your intro music for, well, for about five hours now? Uh, uh, to gosh, uh, you stop playing. I'll have your nuts uh, in a vice. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I totally forgot. Yeah, I'm not going to that. Is that from something else? I don't recognize that. About the game. What? But princess, if I come back empty-handed, Prince Casper will hunt me like a common cat. See? You're making people sad, Reckon. We're leaving. Whoa, wait. Uh, all right. I understand. So, the princess is engaged, I see. Only in the game. Jeez. Uh... Hey, that counts for something. But, uh, you don't seem too into the idea. You maybe got eyes for someone else? Maybe someone your royal family could never approve of. Like, like a strapping young farmhand. Or perhaps you like him sweet and scrawny. Like, like that wrecking boy. One time! I sucked him off one time, okay? Whoa. <laughs> what? I believe she's using a colloquial term to refer to the act of orally stimulating. I know what she means, you <laughs> ain't. not dating or anything. It was, it was for a quest. What do you mean it was for a... <laughs> Why is that in a kid's game? <laughs> I have neither the time nor the inclination to navigate the tangled web of politics and hormones that is your love life. Inclination? What are you trying to say? That my love life is a mountain? You saying I climb mountains like some jack-booted lesbian? Princesses don't climb mountains. Mountains climb princesses. Oh, that poor sweet boy. So, speaking yep. of <laughs> things that are tall, a world tree. Discuss. All right. You were asking about that. Eh, yes, sure. yes, he was. Got me out of that party, so I guess I owe you one. I also saved you from those enemy players. I mean, yeah, but what have you done for me lately? I, I got you out of your engagement party. Oh, that's right. All right, yeah, mm. I'll tell you all about it. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to fill you in on some background info. You see. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, so like six months ago, a group of nine friends found this game in like a bargain bin or something. It was supposed to be for kids, but nobody's parents were letting them play it for some reason. I don't know. Old people are always freaking out about something. Like the SAO disaster? Sure, but I mean like... Yeah, that could have been it. So anyway. These friends figured God forbid parents let their little kids for their role playing and seeing the wide variety of playable races, they decided the stage was perfectly set for a campaign they dreamt you know I mean. of since they were children. Race war. Mm -hmm. Yep, tastes like shirt. What? Yeah! <laughs> Rumor has it that the first race to get to the top of the world tree will have any wish they want granted by the fairy king, Oberon. So naturally, whoever wins that race... Yeah, not the until this guy race kills war. that motherfucker. Hashtag race war. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't believe you call it that, but I guess it's really bad. <laughs> there's been quite a bit of racial violence. Oh, yeah, but it's in the game. <laughs> what does the fox say indeed? Oh boy, how did I know that joke was coming? <laughs> oh, crank that noise! That's my jam right there! <laughs> and you're actually playing the song. <laughs> was, was that a car? Oh yeah, totally. It's like an epic level mount or something. I hear at the top of the world tree, there are mounts like that as far as the eye can see. Like some majestic used car dealership of the gods. Okay. Cool. But cool. Get to the top of the world tree. Your little Crayola kerfuffle is fascinating and all, but that's really the only part I care about. Huh? Oh, I don't know. What? Yeah, man. Nobody does. If we knew that, somebody would have already won the war. Consort it! Huh? Daddy, I finished my cracker. May I have another cracker? 
Sorry. Oh, that's Don't really mind. adorable, I'm but... I'm just kind of in a rush to get up there. Okay, but why? It's just a game, ma'am. Don't worry about it. Not to him. Thanks for all the help, but this isn't your problem. Oh, uh... I'll just have to find someone with a bit more experience. How dare you! Huh? Do you really believe you'll find a more capable ally than me? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... I may not know exactly how to conquer that tree. And sure, everyone who's tried has met a gruesome end. But I am Prince. I'm pretty sure I have this reversed. And if there's one thing I do know... I'm hearing the voices out of the wrong ears when it's supposed to be off to the side. Whoops. Because that, good sir, is how a princess do. So, cool. you want to come with? You bet your sweet patootie I'm coming with. You two wouldn't last a day without me. If you insist, welcome aboard, your majesty. Fair warning, if you slow us down for even an instant, I shall not hesitate to leave you for the wolves. So it's decided, we shall embark on a no- Yui is awesome as always. My name's Cutie Toe, by the way. What? I said my name's Cutie Toe. Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself earlier. Oh! Okay. Bye! That's... Alright, so there will be no sexual tension there, I hope. Because that was fucking weird. My fair Titania, I swear you grow more beautiful by the day. Captivity suits you well. What do you want, Sugo? Now, now, I keep telling you, in this world, I am to be addressed as Oberon, the fairy. Yeah, that's never gonna happen, I keep bitch. Telling you, it's pronounced Oberon, you know, like moron. <laughs> Always so quick with that tongue of yours. I do so wish you would put it to better use. <laughs> Look at all I've done yeah. for you. I've made you my queen, draped you in fire, locked you in a cage. This wonderful cage. I ask you, what more could you possibly want? My freedom! Oh, the petty gripes of a woman. Do not forget, my dear, that I am king of this world. Your consent is strictly a courtesy. So if you don't start playing along, I'm afraid I'll have no choice but to. Ah! You know what? You need to be careful putting your fingers near there. Go on and struggle all you want while you still can. Your tune will change soon enough. Oh, I don't know. I've been here two months and I have yet to cave to my womanly urges. It's been real touch and go so far, but I think I could go the distance. <laughs> you know, my dear, have I ever told you what an excellent investment the SAO servers were? That Kaiaba, well, he certainly made a misstep or... Seven was undeniably a yeah, genius. Quite a few missteps. Once we ironed out the last of his unfortunate little bugs, building Alfheim up the bones of SAO was practically child's play. It really was a fascinating game. A true pioneer in the field of VR. You can't even imagine the breakthroughs we've had just by studying its code. For instance, the Nerve Gear was actually able to scan in your real-life abilities and assign your base stats accordingly, allowing one to rise up from their former self into a hero of legend. Yeah, I was trapped in that world for two years. You really think I didn't know all that? Well, I just find it fascinating is all. Increase your strength stat, and even a child could wield the mightiest weapons. Increase dexterity, and you could move with the grace of a world-class gymnast. Increase charisma? Yeah, yeah, it would let you... Oh, oh no. By Jove, I think she's got it! 
Yes, mm. with a high enough charisma stat, even the most asinine suggestion becomes... Oh yeah, they did do that. <laughs> the fact that that's even possible speaks volumes about the wasted potential of that device. To think, he had the power to bend the masses to his will, and he just gave it to a bunch of greasy imbeciles begging for nudes. Truly, we cannot begin to understand the mind of such a madman. Quite right, my precious flower. But I shall not squander this power like he did. When all those players were being logged out, I made sure to snap up a few as test subjects, your beautiful self included. Thanks to their noble contribution, my men will have perfected this technology by week's end, and I shall hold the world in the palm of my hand. But more importantly, we'll be rid of that rebellious streak of yours, just in time for you to walk down the aisle. You're insane! Thankfully, you're also an idiot. Why would you tell me any of this? You really think I'm just gonna sit around and wait for that to happen? <laughs> oh, my dear Titania, you're lucky you're so pretty. By all means, give me your best shot! But if you really think you can overpower the system admin, then I dare say you're even dumber than I am. Where did you go? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's slaughtering her men. <sighs> well, that's an interesting way to do it. Uh, interesting way to explain it. To up your charisma and make her agree to anything that you suggest. Uh... I remember right, it was that he would literally warp her mind to be what, like, reprogram her. Uh, was the original plan, you know. Which, I guess this is kind of the way, it's just a interesting way for them to put it, is that he would up his charisma stat and make her agree to marry him. Which, would that transfer over to the real world? Hmm. I guess if they're perfecting and fine-tuning it, it would essentially be the same thing. You know, warping her, uh... Her mind. To be more compliant. Which is fucking monstrous, but... Uh, I like where they're going with the whole, uh, Leafa Kirito thing. That's cool. She's not going to find out, like, she knows from the start that it's him, but now I imagine her trying to hold up the cover and already, already having agreed to help him, having to follow through with it, <laughs> and just being so pissed about it. Uh, that should, that should uh, create some entertainment there. Uh, yeah. And I'm really looking forward to not having the weird-ass sexual tension that was going on there. So, enough of that. Because that's fucking weird. Uh, so, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. It was another fine addition to the Sword Art Online Abridged series. And until next time, take care. <laughs>